I'm, I'm really trying to make the adjustment to this. finally hair update time you guys I have had so many questions and comments about my hair from Miss Donna your hair is really growing what do you use on your hair so we are we are really four months in because I cut my hair off as you guys saw the first of June so all of June, all of August, June, July, August, and September, being that we're just now in the beginning of October. So we are four months in, 16 weeks in. It seems like it's been longer than that. Than that. You guys, I forgot really how short I had originally cut my hair. Oh my goodness. It was really short. So... What I'm trying to do now is give you guys a true um, a true showing, if you will, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I want you guys to see exactly what my hair looked like. A lot of times, you know, we ask, um, what's your hair type? I've heard, Miss Tommy, you have good hair. Less. Good hair. I do not have honey. It's all in the products. So what I want to do first is I just shampooed my hair. And I will share with you guys everything I use. But this is what we're going to do right now. I wanted you to see. You know, I know some of these ladies talk about wash and go. Honey, I've never been able to do a wash and go. Be like washing. You better go put something on that hair. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just combing my hair out and I'm going to let it dry. So you all will see what my hair type looks like, okay? It's always been um, a different texture on the top. This area right here, because even as it grows out, this area kind of ends up flopping a little bit. But... I wanted to start there because I could never ever be one of those wash and go kind of chicks unless I just wanted to have an afro. Okay. So this is what we are looking like um, four months in. Let's see. Let me get my husband's pick. Get my husband's pick to kind of pick it a little bit. Try to kind of get it a little even. Let's see. It is growing though, you guys. Okay. Okay, let, let, me, let me do my spin so you guys can see. And I wasn't trying to update you guys any sooner because 
to me it wasn't nothing going on, you know. But I was, you see that I was trying to capture, um, was it every month, every couple of months? I think I tried to do it maybe every month. I can't remember because I've not added, the, at this point in the video, I've not added those clips yet. But the clips that I've taken over the past few months, they're going to be at the beginning of this video. So you should have already seen those clips. And I cannot remember the intervals between those clips. I think, I'm thinking it was maybe once a month. Anyway, if not, I will have had the caption up as to... The time in between I should I share the updates all right so we're just gonna dry and I want you to see my hair when it's dry and let me get up a little bit closer for those of you cuz I ain't listen this is this this is some some kinky hair so I'm gonna give it maybe about an hour or two to dry I'm gonna do something else and then I'll come back so you guys can see it once it's dry so this video it's going to take a few hours for me to put together in that when I put what I normally use on my hair, you'll see it when it's wet and then I'll have to come back so you can see it once it's dry and just because I want you to get the full understanding, honey. And all that getting, get understanding. That's Bible. Okay. So I don't want you all to assume anything because sometimes I know people look at videos, hair videos, especially when you when you're natural and you're trying to find something that works for your hair. If you like me, honey, I be trying to look for folk that I think have the same hair texture as I do. If you have all that curly, slick hair, I, I can't watch your video because you can just you can just put some water on your hair and it curls up. Mm, listen. This is what we have going on. So I need to find somebody with my hair texture. So I'm going to try to be, you know, detailed to help those of you um, that may feel like you kind of have my hair texture. And see what may work for you. Okay. All right. So um, I'll, I'll be back in a couple hours. Okay. It's been about an hour and a half later and we are totally dry. Um... No shrinkage, really. We just kind of dry in Afro style. Okay, so this is how we look with absolutely no product on my hair. Y'all hear that? Snap, crackle, and pop. Ooh-wee. Now what I want to do is, the key to me styling my hair is that it has to be saturated. It is totally, totally saturated and wet with water. I usually do it in the shower. My go-to, first of all, let me tell you what I shampoo with. This is uh, an Obnobit Clarifying Detox Shampoo. This is what I got from um, the young lady that was doing my hair and did my, oh my goodness, what is it called? Um, when I was having the issues with my thinning, do I want to say trichologist? Oh, I hope I'm not saying that wrong. If I am, please forgive me, but she is definitely certified. So this is her product. Ooh, the oh, if you're seeing this girl, I'm so sorry. I have drawn a blank. And also the hair growth tonic. Okay. I do not use this consistently. I'm ashamed to say. I just don't. I, t I do it when I think about it, but uh, y'all, yeah, this true story. <laughs> this is my shampoo. And then I'll go back with the Influence. I got this from her too. The Moisturizing Shampoo by Influence. Can you see that? I hope so. And then the conditioner, the moisture conditioner, has shea butter in it. So, y'all, all those oils and stuff I was doing in the beginning, don't, I don't have time for that. I just don't. So, not been doing any of that. And then once I get it really, really saturated and wet, y'all, my go-to has been kinky, curly. 
that's all I use on my hair. Start with it being really saturated. I do the Kinky Curly Not Today leave-in conditioner first. And just really rub, rub, rub it in my hair. Just massage it. Then I go back with my Kinky Curly Original Curling Custard. And that's what I do. So, like I said, ordinarily I'd get in the shower. Because it's... That's just how I, it just makes it easier to style it. But what I'm going to do to show you all, I'm going to saturate it right here in the sink. Saturate it right here in the sink. And no, I don't want to stop the video because I want you guys to, you know, I don't want you to feel like you've missed something and maybe I've done something different or something else and not told you guys. So I'm just getting ready to saturate it. Really good. Let me see. Let me get my stuff together. Because, honey, I'm going to have to take my glasses out. I'm squinting trying to see what I'm doing. Okay. So, we're going to start with the conditioner. Let me get it really saturated and wet. And it's so much easier when I do this in the shower. That way I don't have to worry about water running all down my, my face and my back. See the consistency of it, it kind of slides, it's creamy, it's creamy. And I like to just like really massage it and rub it in my hair. Yes, you see, it does have that white overcast look, but as it dries down, that gets, that goes away. And, you know, in the warmer months, of course, I'm not too worried about my hair being damp when I go outside, but y'all, now that it's getting cold, well, the weather is changing. We're in fall weather. I do not need to be going out with damp hair. So what I do on those occasions is I try to help it dry down a little bit by using my blow dryer with a diffuser on the end. Let me show you. It's right here. And this is just a blow dryer that I picked up from my local beauty supply place. And the, the diffuser helps it not um, cause like freeziness, okay? So this is what I do to kind of help it dry down a little bit when I need to do this and then get out of here. And most of the time when I try to dry it... Um, or when I dry it, it only, when I try to dry like some of that immediate water out of it, I'll do that. I'll hold the dryer over it for maybe about two to three minutes. Okay, 
before I add anything else, let me kind of let you see what my texture is, texture is kind of looking like now. And I'm just kind of wild with it, you know, just kind of, like I said, rubbing my fingers through. I can already feel some of my curls starting to form, especially in this area. Let me see, in the back. Can y'all see that? I know you've seen that white overcast, but y'all kind of get the picture. Okay. All right. And then, I go in with my kinky curly, y'all. I need to get some more. Definitely need to get more. Um, this is the consistency of the kinky curly. The um, custard. It's kind of like a... Yeah, I know this sounds terrible, but, but y'all know that look like snot, right? It does, please. Look at it. Mm-hmm. Look at that, y'all. Y'all know that's what it looked like. That's a terrible way to describe it, but it's the truth. Okay, so you see what I have. Kind of rub it in to kind of get it evenly on my hands and my fingers and just kind of go over my whole head, trying to get it evenly distributed. Okay. Whew. And then some days I go heavier. It just depends on the mood I'm in. I'm going to get just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit more. Do the same thing. I'm lightening because I'm not pushing my hands together really hard. I'm lightly rubbing my hands trying to get it all over the palm of my hands and down my fingers. That way, like I said, I feel like I can get it more evenly distributed. Sometimes I kind of like to rub my edges with it a little bit to make sure I got it on those edges. Okay. Same thing. We're just rubbing it in. And you know how they use those little sponges? And they sponge their hair. I don't do that. I kind of do that same method with my hands kind of lightly. Like I'm not going real hard to my scalp. I'm kind of doing like just the very tips of kind of the tip of my hair. Like we have some curls that are trying to kind of form. Now because I still deal with some of the thinning up here in this area, once I kind of get it looking like I want it to look, and uh, I need to put my glasses on because when I tell you you can't see a thing, I mean, I, I, you know, I kind of see something but can't really tell what I'm looking at. <laughs> I know it's something there. Let's see. And I like to use just like an old toothbrush. Kind of go down the edges, you know, a little bit. I don't, I don't do all that, bringing all them edges and stuff out. Like, honey, don't, don't do that. I kind of do that a little bit, and then sometimes take my comb. Ooh. And just kind of, you know, slide my edges back a little bit. Just kind of rub the comb back. Y'all, listen, I don't have time to be spending a whole lot of time on this little bit of hair. Hair is this long. Don't make no sense to be taking two or three hours trying to fix this little bit of hair. Okay? Makes absolutely no sense. And I think I did mention this is an old toothbrush. I have another brush that's really... Supposed to be for your hair, but honey, it's, it's, it's somewhere. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, 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 what was I going to do? Oh. So, again, because I still deal with some thinning, um, I just take my comb and kind of lift I don't pull it all the way through my hair, okay? I kind of look at it and lift it, see where I need to um, kind of fill in some spots a little bit. I just lift it up. I usually take the bottom, if you guys can see, and I just kind of do like this, just to kind of pull that bottom down a little bit. Honey, 
if you clean your mirror, that might weigh up, child. And my mirror just gets dirty from where I have all this gel and stuff on my hands. And I be grabbing my mirror, y'all. Wait a minute, let me get let me get my dude number one's mirror. His might look a little better than mine. I don't want y'all talking about me. I don't want y'all talking about me talking about my mirror. Like I really care. Okay, let's see. Oh. What am I trying to look in the camera for? Honey, look in the mirror. Yeah. So. Yeah. And that's all I do. See, like I can see that little piece right there. That's sticking out. That little piece right there that's sticking out. Okay. Is that it? Y'all, that's it. I told you I don't, I don't have a whole lot of time be doing my hair. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna let this I'm gonna have to come back one more can because because I'm not going anywhere I don't um I don't really need to it doesn't have to dry right now. So, for the most part, I'm going to let it air dry, but let me show you what I do when I am trying to uh, help it to dry down so I can get out of here. I'm going to show you what I do because when I dry it, you don't want, I don't put this on my hair. I just kind of hold it over it. Let me show you for a few seconds and then I'll talk to you because you probably won't be able to hear me. Hold that over my hair, different areas. And I may do that for a total of about two to three minutes. I don't have no whole lot of time to be doing that either. Trying to dry this much hair. Okay. So, we see what we're looking like now. What I'm doing next is, I'm going to just let this air dry. And then I'll come back in a little bit so you guys can see how it looks after it just air dries for about maybe a couple of hours okay all right so i'll i'll see y'all in a, in a minute but for me it's gonna be a couple of hours it's been two hours later i hope you all weren't expecting me to come back with the face beat all made up Listen. I am not that chick. I did take off the towel and the bathrobe and just threw my little shirt and put on my little, my little, um, my little iridescent hoops. I did that much for you guys. But honey, that's about the extent of it. This is all I do with my hair. So for those of you that have asked over and over and inquired, I keep it really Simple. Usually with my, um, when I wear it like this, it'll last like a couple of days. I do sleep with a satin bonnet on. Not a bonnet, I'm telling a story. It's it's a little satin, um, like a scarf. This is what I use. With the bonnets, I don't like that band around my forehead. So I use a satin scarf. And then in the morning, I can just use my little, yeah, my sister gave me this, but it's my water bottle that has the mist that comes out when you spray it. It comes out really fine. So I kind of get it wet with that and it wakes up my um, curls again. And then I'm good to go. I'll get in the shower and um, if I want to rinse it out, I'll just rinse it. I shampoo it maybe once a week, if not twice a week, because I do a lot of, not twice a week, once a week maybe, or either once every other week. Because in the meantime, I do a lot of, um, I guess it's co-washing, where I just rinse my hair and then put some conditioner on it. And I'm just rinsing out all of the kinky curly stuff. So, 
that's pretty much it. I'm usually totally saturating my hair with water and rinsing it out every couple of days because I can't stand like the product buildup. I don't like too much product. So, yeah, listen, I keep it simple. There's probably more I need to be doing, but I'm not. I'm not. Now that it's dry or now that I'm done, I can take some of my um, growth tonic and put it on my on my scalp area where it's thinning but you guys it is so much better than what it used to be when I noticed my hair was thinning oh my goodness so but even my this growth tonic and the shampoo and stuff that I have um, she did my regimen based on my blood work so it's not like you could just walk in the shop and say I don't want this 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 and this um, I mean, you make and buy some of this stuff, but my exact regimen was based on her looking at all of my blood work and diet and other stuff like that. So, all right, you guys, that's it. I hope I've been helpful. Um, I do miss my hair. I'm so ready for it to, to just continue to grow back and me get some length. I will admit, once it gets a certain length, I am going to braid it up again i want somebody to braid it but not anyone that does it tight i don't want my scalp pulled tight so i'm very mindful of that y'all know me i may even try to figure out if it's something i can do myself because that way i know i'm not going to pull my hair too tight but the young lady who was braiding my hair the last time i was getting braided getting it braided she has moved to another area and truth be told she's not too too far so I don't know if I don't eventually find somebody around here once it grows out a little bit more that I kind of trust to maybe braid it up for me and not put too much tension on my hair. Um, she may be worth me traveling a couple of hours to get to her. So anyway, that's it you guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I will continue to do updates um, here and there. I won't do them every month, but maybe every few months because nothing is really changing okay all right you guys well thank you to all of you that inquired i hope i answered your questions for those of you that kept saying miss donna what are you using what are you doing to your hair your hair is beautiful your hair is growing thank you so much because this has certainly been another journey um and it's kind of been a struggle been a struggle because when i had to just cut all of my hair off i just whoop, i feel some kind of way y'all but i'm feeling i'm feeling better and I am thankful as to how my hair is progressing and growing. All right. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I already look forward to you joining me again next time. Bye. And I'm also going to include here my um, hair journey. I've done a lot to this hair of mine. So I'll just include my playlist here so you guys can check that out if you're interested. Okay. All right. Bye.